G'day everyone, welcome to Matt Hill Scar Models. Uh, another update on the big rig group build on the old Renwall um, M62 Wrecker truck. I've had to change the way I've done this a few times and uh, the approach that I was going to do, I did promise in the last video that I'd assemble the cab um, as a separate video, but the way that things have happened is I've had to set this cab floor in first. Um, the reason being, after seeing some reference photos, I'll just take this motor out of here, um, these trucks had um, braces that hold the side steps up. This one didn't have any braces for the side steps. Also, there is um, air cylinders on this side for the the air brakes and things like that so I've made those up um, I used an old torpedo I have an old plane thing that was laying around in the spares box so I cut that into pieces and then I mixed up some putty some of this kneaded uh, and filled the ends in and sort of rounded round the best I could with my fingers you know to get it sort of some sort of shape and then I sanded it all to make a tank. Now I was going to drill these air tanks out in here. Uh, you can see I tried to and I had to putty it up. But um, the putty stuff doesn't like to be drilled. Um, I've also made some front shock absorbers and mounts for it. The kit didn't have any um, any shockers. So I made, made it up out of electrical wire and stuff. And um, I used uh, I used some of this I had left over from a job from work. I straightened it out and I used that. And then I just used these particular brand of Q-tips I've got. And I'll grab those here in Australia. Some Q-tips don't um, don't take to glue, but this excuse me, this brand does. Um. Made in bloody China. Um, so I've used that. I cut that down and, and uh, yeah, made the, the shocky mounts, which makes a bit of difference to the to the truck. I got the gusset plates in the front. Uh, added some rivet details there. I've cut away those, um, those like, D shackles on the front bumper bar. And uh, I made some new ones. My bench is a mess. Sorry guys, but I did want to pack everything away, then have to unpack it all, I've got everything here, so um, I made some little de-shackles out of that electrical wire as well, um, so they'll go on the truck, I put the steps in, I said the braces for the steps, um, there's still a little bit of cross bracing that you will see, so there's some pieces that are supposed to come down there. I had this battery out of something um, that mounts underneath this other step here. Um, so it'll slide up in there. Uh, but I think I'll have to paint it first because I won't be able to get paint in there. So I'm going to have to paint it and fit it. Question for Doug Hensley. Um, Doug used to drive one of these in the National Guard. And I can't work out whether they had two batteries in them, Doug, or one. Um, you might be able to let me know. <laughs> uh, these also are supposed to have doors on the side of these steps, so of course you can access the bits to your truck. So I've made the doors. I haven't made the handles yet, um, but the little hinges are made for it. They're just sort of glued on there. They won't be working or anything. I got the back done, um, drilled some holes in the um, gusset sort of bumper bar plate, and I put some rivets in the back. So I got that done. I said before about the diff housings, but I learned off Charlie Mack running the sprue because I thought these diff housings were like welded two pieces. They're not, they're cast in one, so I've sanded them all down and puttied them up. So they are, um, they are done there. Um, move that stuff away, still engine parts. Uh, the exhaust system is wrong um, because I've added... It was right for the kit, 
bit wrong for the truck um, on the real vehicle the exhaust system runs behind this step and kicks up around the chassis rail and runs into that piece in there uh, and it goes into the exhaust manifold um, this plastic's pretty soft so I sort of can manipulate a little bit I'll try to get it to work if not I'll build another exhaust system for it um, I'll build another exhaust system for it using um, copper pipe and whatever I can use um, to make exhaust system so I've got to lay that that's one of the last parts to fit I have to fix this front universal joint here because it's got a really big flange on the unis on this here uh, and what happens is that actually interferes with the fit of the motor that'll rub on the sump so I've got to modify that so that was basically what I wanted to show you because I'm going to have to put some paint on it Charlie Mac um, I only just seen Charlie's comment. <laughs> um, I sanded all these tyres down by hand, so I flattened them out, then I've taken the shoulders over. The other thing I noticed is this kit, and it'll be over-exaggerated here because you really can't do it. But what it looked like when the real hubs went together is the tyres were touching. Now, that doesn't happen in a real truck. You've got to have a little bit of space in them. So I made some little blocks here. And what they'll do, they're like a spacer in the hub, and they now let these truck tyres have a gap in between them. Um, so it looks a little bit more realistic, and they'll actually step out of the guard a bit more. Um, I'll start on the cab, but as you can see, i got some sort of detail there with um, wiring, you know, for the truck. But then I've got these really big ejector pin marks in the firewall. So I'm going to shave all this wiring off and fill these with putty, sand them up, and then I'll rewire re it with some copper wire and bits and pieces. So a bit, bit more scale too, excuse me, because that's pretty chunky on the firewall. Uh, I haven't done much of the engine yet. No wiring on that. I don't know whether I will go to that effort. Um, the next thing I've got to do is I'm working on the back of the tray now I'm jumping the gun as I promised but uh, this has got a lot of injector pin marks in as and out as I call them there's some sunk and there's some that come out so I'm carefully removing all these these are all full of big injector pin marks some of them I actually had to snip off with a set of um, these modular side cutters they, they were that real big I just snipped them off as flush as I could the reason why I'm jumping this step and the cab is because when the cab goes, when the the uh, the tray of the truck goes on, there's no detail of nothing holding. There should be like these little gusset brackets here that hold the truck of the tray onto the chassis. So I'm going to do all those after I finish doing these injector pins. Um, the main reason being is it's going to be hard to do it once it's painted so there's a few things I have to do now I'm going to have to start with paint um, which means I'm going to have to finish off the winch drum here on the front but make it so I can drop my actual drum with my cable on it last so I'll fit it, make it, pull it all apart paint it, put it back together sort of thing um, but it's a big, big, big model kit. It seems really big for one thirty second. Um, I think it might be bigger than that in scale. Uh, I'm not too sure, but um, yeah, I got a like my little Italian tank that I'm working on in between. That's one thirty fifth scale. So maybe close to 124th scale or somewhere. Um, I'm not too sure, to tell you the truth, guys. Um, just seems really, really big for for 132nd, uh, for 135th, because if you put a one, also if you put a 135th figure beside it, little Africa core dude I'm building, um, it's a big 
mind you, it is a fairly big truck. So, um, but oh, I don't know. Some of these older to me, 135th scale figures are pretty big and chunky because the guys that come with the kit are absolutely horrible. Uh, here's an example of them here. There's Charlie and Harold. Um, and they're both missing bits out of their back from those sinky things. And I do want to run a crew or something, or at least a driver or someone in it, just to give it a little bit more life than just a static kit. But uh, there's some details on here that I won't be able to replace. Like these things, I'll just fix up. <laughs> um, but yeah, apart from that, it's all starting to come together now. I think I got over the hardest part. I think the hardest part left will be now this firewall. Um, working out how to do the battery box and fitting it in there. I also had to sort of blank that wheel arch, that wheel guard out there where the batteries go. So I used a bit of styrene sheet for that. Um, but yeah, so it's really maybe ready for paint. I can't see anything else that I'd like to put on except there should be a bracket holding this mud guard to the chassis there. I'll make something up of that, just like an L bracket. Um, don't know about the wiring for brake lines and stuff yet. Um, I've still got the, the, the steering. Um, there's no steering. There's no... Um, there's no steering box. And there's no pitman arm. And I sort of want to pose it with its wheels turned anyway. Um... I'll make up a steering box from scratch and a pitman arm once I sort of get the steering column in there and just to give it that little bit more realism, I suppose. Um, but apart from that, it's uh, it's got to be like a big model when it's done. Um, I've still got another one of these to scratch build here because this is sort of all they gave you on the front. Was that moulded in? That's supposed to be a roller, then that... that this here is supposed to be on the back, so I have to build another one of those on the back and um, muck around with the exhaust, as I said. Uh, and then, yeah, just go through the spares box and, yeah, try to find a few more things in 132nd scale. I've been trying to find a 132nd scale Land Rover or Army Jeep <clears throat> or something I can use on the crane. Um, the other thing I did notice to my good reference photos, which I'll try to send a link to the page in the description. I can probably copy the link. It's a really, really good walk around. There should be a bar on here, like I think what they use for a dead man tow. So it must hook onto the front of the vehicle, then onto the tow bar. So they're not pulling with the uh, cable. So you can actually dead man tow something behind you. Um... So that's missing, I'll have to make one of those as well. But all in all, so far, I've got through the hardest part. Um, some of the photos I've seen, I will get away with the sink marks in the front springs as I'll add a little bit of mud and grime. It looked like a lot of these trucks did suffer from oil leaks, maybe from around the pump. And there's a lot of oil and diesel running down through here, all the ones I've seen. So I might be able to put some grimy, oily mud, dirt build up in there to cover that over um, I don't want to build front springs for it, I was worried about my styrene sheet not being, because it's fairly heavy, um, I was worried about the styrene sheet not being sort of t strong enough to hold everything and it might sag, but that's it guys, thank you for watching this update, thank you for all your kind comments, I do I haven't had much time to reply to them, I'm sorry, and plus I have with this hand, I have trouble pressing the buttons on my phone. And sometimes it makes me, um, my comment look like I'm a blubbering idiot. Um, there's my, everything I'm doing at the moment, I'm trying to do with this hand. Um, my left hand is still um, not, not right at the moment. So um, I love all your comments and I really, really appreciate it. Once again, um, thanks to the guys running it. Um, and I have got another little one of these older reveal kits to do if it will qualify once i finish doing this one it's a army truck with the missile lacrosse missile the reveal the loaded up 
But thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Having fun with this one. Um, it was a bit challenging. Yeah, you can probably see by my attitude that I'm perked up a little bit. <laughs> because the doom and gloom part of it was like, oh, Christ, what have I got myself into? Holy shit. But, yeah, the little extra details, too, I think, will have made a bit of difference to it. Well, I hope they will. Um, but we'll see once we get a bit of paint on. Stay safe, guys. Um, remember, if you're feeling down, that you've been locked inside, or things aren't going well for you, the whole community of us, if you want something to chat to, um, send me a message. Um, we can create a hangout for all us guys. Um, we could even do that for the Big Rig Group Build, do a hangout page, and we can all catch up and and uh, and stir shit out of each other and drink beer with each other over the internet. Till next time, be safe. Catch us later.